All right, guys. So we're going to be switching it up a little bit today. So this is the story all about how my life got flipped and turned upside down. If you want to know why, don't go nowhere. I'll tell you how I became the Fresh Prince of Tacos. Greetings, cadets. Sergeant Thunder Waffle here. And today, I figured we'd switch up what we usually do just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean we are going to do story time. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys watching, I know some of you guys personally know me, but I'm not sure how many of you guys have ever actually heard this story. But, you know what, either way, I'm sharing it with the world today. So here goes nothing. This is the story about the time in second grade I went to Great Wolf Lodge in Kansas City. So yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So anyways, how it all started out was my dad, well, my dad and my grandma were the main ones on board with it, I believe. They were, they kind of got it orchestrated. And so they went out and rented a van, or not a van, but like just a larger car because the biggest car we have is literally a seven car Toyota Camry 2001, maybe? Not sure. But yeah, that's basically the size of, that was the size of my dad's work car too. So we were going to need something a little bit bigger if we all wanted to carpool. So we did, and it was pretty cool. We got to Kansas City in about, I can't remember exactly how long the trip was. Um, I'll add it in in YouTube later after looking up directions in travel time. Okay. So yeah. Of course, that will allow you guys to figure out where I used to live. But, then again, that's where I used to live. So, get wrecked. Anyways, so we get there. It's actually a pretty neat place. Like, it's a kid's dream come true. Giant indoor water park. And, don't even get me started with Magi Quest. Magi Quest was just, like, so addictive. I could not stop until... I, like, completed every last task and became a master magi, as they called it. And basically, magi quest is like a wizard role-playing thing where you get a wand, you get, like, a wand topper thing, and you have to go around, like, doing scavenger hunts and even a few boss battles. And so I finally, on the last day, I wanted to do something at the water park, I believe, but I ran out of time, or I almost ran out of time, but fortunately I was able to get Magi Quest completed in time, because I was just like, oh no, we are not leaving until I become a Master Magi. And so, it was going great until that Red Dragon boss fight was taking forever. This is even before they added in the Silver Dragon boss fight, I've been back since then. Although the next one I went to was in Grapevine, Texas. But, yeah. And so I couldn't beat the Red Dragon. But fortunately, this nice individual who was a bit older than me at the time. And obviously still is today, most likely. Um, if you're watching this, then cool. Thanks for helping out. And pretty much, we together defeated the dragon. I don't know, it may have been him doing most of the work. I'm just this little scrub trying to defeat a red dragon. It, it was amazing. And yeah, pretty much. And so we finally go to the water park. We slide down like that new slide they had had installed recently. I forget. I think their gimmick was like it was a giant funnel or something that you kind of went around in. Um, yeah, I can't remember. But that's not the main point of this story. The main point of this story is at the arcade. Now, first off, I want to say this arcade was actually better than most arcades in the sense that, you know those, like, squishy, spiky ball things you can get from, like, crane machines and stuff? Well, um, I actually ended up getting one of those, and so did my sister. I think even my dad might have gotten one, simply because they were so easy to get on that machine. It's almost like that machine was rigged to let you win. Yeah, you don't see a lot of arcades where you actually win often, like, 
twice or three times in a row. And of course, this was in second grade, so I don't remember it too well. But then I got to my favorite game at the arcade, Deal or No Deal. Now, for a while, this had been one of my favorite games at arcades. Because I liked the game show Deal or No Deal. I got like this little portable electronic game from like a Walgreens or something. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And so, basically, what ended up happening is I didn't have enough money to play what I wanted to play on the Deal or No Deal machine. And this machine, unlike a lot of others, had, like, a quadruple jackpot mode or something like that. where You could win, like, 800 tickets, which is the highest jackpot I had ever seen and still have ever seen on a Deal or No Deal machine. And I'm pretty sure it is anyways. So I went around the floor and I literally scrounged for quarters until I had enough to play the quad mode. And so we get into quad mode. And oddly enough, I try to fall. I think I tried to follow the cases, like pick my case. And the jackpot, the 800 ticket jackpot was staying in there real well. Maybe the reason I remember this is because it's an emotionally charged memory. <laughs> but, yeah. So, eventually, it gets to the point where they offer me a deal of 400 and something tickets over half of the jackpot. And, of course, there's still a large chance I'm not going to get the jackpot. There are still enough cases in play. And so, my dad is like, you should probably take the deal. And, yeah, I took the deal, got my 400-something tickets, and I found out that my case had the jackpot in it. The 800 jackpot. Ugh. Just, I had scrounged on the floor for cash, and I had come all this way. And I just got slammed right in my face. And as you can imagine... I, I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. Um, and I definitely let my dad know I was mad. <laughs> Let's just say that. Don't worry, there was no cursing involved or anything. But I definitely let him know I was mad. I let him have it. And, yeah, that's... And, of course, I felt bad afterwards, and I, like, cried a lot. And I eventually almost like cried myself to sleep and I woke up from a nap in the car later when we were on the way back. And anyways, that concludes the Great Wolf Lodge experience. Um, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to chuck a waffle at that like or subscription buttons, especially if you guys want to see like more of these videos. I mean, it's a bit of a change, but who knows, maybe it could actually work. Um, and that's gonna do it for now. This is Sergeant Thunderwaffle, signing out.